It's finished in the game between Everton and Arsenal at Goodison Park. Everton 2, Arsenal 1. Another disappointing result for Mikel Arteta's side. The second half performance was actually pretty decent, but it was the same issues, wasn't it? It was the same inability to actually create clear-cut chances from our possession. Yes, we had a couple of opportunities right at the death. Yes, David Lewis hit the post with that effort, but there wasn't enough creativity in that Arsenal side yet again. And there was a couple of really bad defensive moments that allowed Everton uh, to get themselves in front. And from there on against the Carlo Ancelotti side, you'll expect them to be able to manage the game effectively. And that is exactly what Everton did. It's a real worry at the moment because you look at some of the situations on the pitch and you you wonder if there is actually more going on behind the scenes. You know, you've seen David Lewis's attitude today, I thought was appalling. He was kind of having a go at people all the time in terms of their positioning. He was encouraging people to move the ball forward, which wasn't a bad thing. But the manner in which he was doing it looked like someone who was fed up. Obviously, he was overlooked today as the Arsenal captain. I think most of us would have expected in the absence of Xhaka, in the absence of Aubameyang, that he would have been given the armband. But instead, it was handed to Rob Holding. Um, Ceballos and Elneny had plenty of exchanges, in particular in that first half, about moving the ball forward, about trying to make things happen. And it just looks like there is a real disharmony at Arsenal Football Club at the moment. Everywhere, you know, why wasn't Lacazette turned to? Why wasn't Lacazette in the starting lineup ahead of Enketia? Why wasn't Lacazette brought on first? And you know, Gabriel Martinelli, who I absolutely adore and love, but has been out for ages, was turned to before Lacazette. What does that tell you? You know, Willian staying on the pitch, but again, doing nothing. There are so many issues with this Arsenal side, and the reality is that it's Christmas and we're in a relegation fight. And I never thought I'd ever be saying this. And you know, you can back Mikel Arteta, you can support him, you can feel that he's got the credentials to turn this around or the ability to turn this around. But with each passing week, this is getting more and more worrying. And with Manchester City to come on Tuesday, Chelsea to come on uh, Boxing Day, things could still get a hell of a lot worse for Mikel Arteta if he remains in his position. The pressure is mounting on the Spaniard and rightly so because whatever you say about a rebuild about a process and however long you think that that might take this is Arsenal Football Club and there is a minimum standard that needs to be achieved and right now Mikel Arteta is nowhere near achieving that Arsenal cannot be languishing in 15th place in the Premier League Arsenal cannot be looking at Brighton's result um this weekend with any interest. That's the position we find ourselves in. We're looking at Brighton's game tomorrow and we're worried about it because it could have an impact on us. It could see Brighton close the gap on us. And then, of course, we take them on on the 29th and that becomes a relegation six-pointer. So when people are on social media laughing and joking about the fact that Arsenal are involved in relegation six-pointers, they're not even they're not even having a laugh anymore. It's not even a joke anymore because that is the reality of our current situation. I said it at the end of of last week's game. It's more a concern now rather than anger or, you know, me kind of frothing at the mouth and, and sort of standing here and shouting and screaming and effing and blinding about what I want to see change. There is a, will, a real, sorry, worry that has come over me now and I'm seriously concerned about where this Arsenal team goes from here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We're going to be bringing you a full podcast, of course, tomorrow night. So stay tuned to at Chronicles underscore AFC on Twitter for information about that live show and how you can join us on the phone in section as well. Uh, just a quick video from the studio, as you can see, just finished my commentary on the game for VSIN in the United States. It was a painful watch and even more painful to commentate on. Uh, thank you for tuning into the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.